Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTKB Foundation Level Certifications. We are getting started with our next chapter that is managing the test activities and uh, here we'll be covering a lot of topics related to the concepts of the entire test management and today we are getting started with the first part of the very first segment that is 5.1 test planning. So let's exactly see what exactly is the context and content of the test plan. So in the very first chapter, we have indeed discussed a lot about what is test planning altogether. However, in the chapter one, it is limited to a very high level introduction to what is test plan. Whereas chapter five addresses you with more deep dive into what is test plan and what are the content as well as the deep dive of test plan is all about. So here you'll be covering a lot of other things related to test plan components like what is entry criteria, exit criteria and how that activities happen throughout the life cycle also. So very first thing here we will be talking about that what exactly a test plan is and what should be included when writing a test plan. So first of all, test plan is a responsibility of the test manager. A manager should be someone who should be preparing the test plan. However, a test plan, which is after written, can be reviewed by the test engineers. So it's not necessary that the test engineers can be anyone. You must look forward to have the senior resources from your team in order to make sure that they contribute well, not just for formality and contribute to the overall test plan efficiency. Well, it comes to the test plan, let's have a quick introduction from the syllabus too to understand what exactly they are trying to guide you. Because the reason is the test manager certification at advanced level covers this into the deep dive or the way a test manager should, should actually create it. Right here, we're just giving you a high level introduction to many of the management activities. So let's have a quick look here. Number one, a test plan generally describes the major objectives, resources and processes for a test project. A test plan is a document the means basically the test plan documents the means and schedules for the achieving the test objectives it also helps to ensure that the performed test activities will meet the established criteria serves as a means of communication with the team members and other stakeholders and demonstrates that testing will adhere to existing test policy and test strategy or explains why the testing will deviate from them now put together test plan is a guide or i must say a process documentation which helps the team understand that how are we trying to test a system which is under this particular project however every single project can be different from each other thus the plan should be written very very customized according to the expectation of the project needs and indeed the schedules the timings the budget the effort all these do vary from project to project at the same time, we also look forward to identify the resources in order to understand that what are the team available with us, what are the team dynamics, what are the skill set available and how are we going to achieve the required objective or goal of testing when it comes to this particular project. Indeed, test plan is something which even helps the team learn about at what point we have to do what particular technique or what activity should be performed at what point of time. Indeed, the sequences or the you know, course of actions will all be taken in care in the test plan itself. When it comes to the strategy and policy, just give me, you know, giving you a quick outline, test policy is an organization level document which defines how your organization tends to practice testing altogether within the organization. But whenever a project is done within the organization, we create a test strategy for it. The test strategy is basically a collection of different approaches. And these approaches, probably I'll give you a high level introduction when we come to it, but on a high level strategy collection is collection of approaches. And these approaches basically guide you, what is your strategy in order to accomplish the goals of testing? So generally they are like risk-based testing or model-based testing, or even if you talk about standard compliant or process compliant and sort of thing altogether, put as a strategy. And of course, a strategy is different for each project. Following the principle number six, testing is context dependent, right? Testing is not same for two different applications. Thus, the strategy will also be unique. Now, point being made is that test plan when written should be aligning to that of the expectations of the test policy and the strategy written for this particular project. Okay, so let's continue further and see what more have we got to be included as a part of the activities of the test planning. 
So in order to understand what a test plan should include, of course, I have to consider a lot of factors into account. However, the factors would be discussed more in the advanced level of the test manager certification. But here on a high level, we will just be giving you the set of activities what you probably need in order to consider that what to be done as a part of the test planning phase and what the document should consist of when we talk about it as a test plan. So first of all, test planning guides the testers thinking and forces the testers to confront the future challenges related to risk, schedule, people, tools, cost, and effort. In simple words, all we are trying to do is planning to overcome all our deviations and you know the challenges what we are going to face on the way and being ready for it. But it is not a guarantee for sure because unforeseen situations can always take place and deviations may happen from your plan. At this point of time, it is very important and crucial for any individual to keep an eye on these ongoing progress and at the same time the test plan can also be tweaked to meet the desired ongoing activities so yes if plan once planned is not always static over a period of time it might be required to redefine the plan according to the needs and ongoing activities thus a plan can also be revised over a period of time further to add here the purpose the process of preparing a test plan is useful way to think through the efforts needed to achieve the test project objective. The only goal of creating a test plan is to make sure that we achieve the goal of testing and get everything what we really want from the process. Also to add here, the test plan activities can include or content of the test plan include, that is context of testing, which includes the scope, objective, constraint, the test basis, assumptions and constraints of the test project, stakeholders, that who all will be our contributors and the people who will be expecting information from us, which includes things like roles, responsibility, relevance to testing, hiring and training needs, communications, this, that includes the forms and frequency of communication, documentation, templates, etc. So as a part of the plan, we can also define what kind of artifacts we will be creating and who, who are the stakeholders of these documentations. And sometimes the detail of the documentation, template of documentation should all be well defined as a part of the test planning as well. Okay. Also to add here risk register, which will keep a track of the product risk and project risk identified. And at the same time, what are our strategy to conquer them or to mitigate them? And what are those set of activities you will be performing in order to mitigate the risk altogether, or at least to reduce the level of risk. Further to add, a uh, test approach will also be a part of it on a high level like test level, test types, test technique, deliverables, entry criteria, exit criteria, independence of testing from the development team, uh, matrices to be collected, test data requirement, test environment requirement, deviations from the organization policies and strategy. That means in simple words, every single thing what you will be doing <clears throat> as a part of the whole process should be documented into your test plan so that it guides every individual about what exactly is our process and how it's going to be getting through those milestones on and the goals of testing what we want to achieve and finally to add here of course the budget and schedule the budget and schedule certainly defines uh, something very important that is what is the timeline we have available for this project and how much budget is allocated sometime running out of time and running out of budget can also be considered as your exit criteria and you may have to either suspend your project or even worse condition you may have to terminate your project as well so it's very crucial for a test manager to be very very experienced in terms of defining the appropriate plan for a particular project and then consistently keep an eye to make sure that wherever the tweak is needed they just tweak it so that it still comes back to the plan and gets to the right direction so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.